don't come in here with that black Hebrew Israelite bullshit and them niggas wear dresses. All them niggas don't, them niggas can't even preach. All them niggas holler. Father, brother, father, father, father. The God said, yo, kill you. Yeah, all them niggas scare you out the religion. Yeah, and all them niggas. You see all them niggas? Don't none of them niggas have on new tennis shoes. Yeah, don't know say, man, listen, nigga won't fuck hoes. Nigga wanna do like Reverend Doc. That's why that Christian shit is way more appealing. All that other shit you niggas talking, that Farrakhan shit, y'all beat up people. Yeah, the, 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 the Hebrew Israelites, they can't have no fun. Them niggas can't wear nothing. They can't fuck nothing. Them niggas can't eat nothing. Everything, them niggas got to walk a tight rope. The Hebrew Israelites, niggas, them niggas is like having a daddy in the military. You can't go outside. No, God said you can't do that. You can't watch TV. Everything is condemnation with the Hebrew Israelites. Everything. They can't have no motherfucking fun. The woman can't do nothing. Uh, all she got to do is just get fucked on. And most of them Hebrew Israelites, niggas, they was the niggas who couldn't get all the bitches in school. So they get one bitch and be mean to the bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they get one bitch and be mean and uh, with that religion, Bob or shit, enforcing that shit. Them niggas ain't never been able to run the game. So they get that Hebrew uh, religion indoctrination and put the shit down on a little girl with low self-esteem and fuck her up and she be living in prison trying to play Hebrew. And yeah, he, all he want to do is keep her locked in the house, stuck, while he stand out on the corner with some more niggas, and they holler the Bible to everybody. Man, fuck that shit. That shit can't be fun. Yeah, yeah. That don't come in here with that black Hebrew Israelite bullshit, and them niggas wear dresses. All oh, them niggas don't. Them niggas can't even. <clears throat> all right, I'll play the video again. I want to say Shalom. First and foremost, as always, want to give all the praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, the inspiration of this video comes from this particular channel. All right, GMS Inland Empire 3. And this is one of the elder brothers from the LA camp. OK, a uh, very inspirational brother. You can subscribe to his channel to be edified. OK, and then this this is going to be a response video to his video. And as you can see, this guy right here. He uh, basically uh, was talking shit about the Israelites, you know, about, you know, us saying how, you know, we don't have on new tennis shoes and, you know, we wear dresses and he was uh, he said something about the woman, how uh, a woman has to basically be submissive to her man and, and, and a woman can't do anything, you know, and all this extra madness. Well, this is an example of a two third. OK, rambling and rambling and rambling about how righteousness is being established. Similar to that video that we seen uh earlier in the week with that old Jake saying how, you know, he's going to continue to be wicked. Well, this is another example. All right. Now, the first thing he said is that we, we wear dresses. All right. We don't wear dresses. We wear garments and we wear garments because that's according to the law. See, we're following the laws of the Bible to the best of our ability. A two third nigga wouldn't know nothing about that. OK, let's see what else he has to say. Oh, he said all we do is holler. Well, the scriptures tell us to holler. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. I don't even have to get it. All right. Because that's what the scriptures say. Let's continue on. Well, he's kind of trying to talk about brother's shoes, but which that don't really, you know, make a difference. If brothers, a lot of brothers have on uh, nice shoes and some brothers have lesser nice shoes. So what? That's everybody in the world, you know? <laughs> That's why that Christian shit is way more appealing. All that other shit you niggas talking, 
Well, you can be attracted to the, the Christianity doctrine all you want to. That's going to swallow you up and you're going to end up dying. That Farrakhan shit, y'all beat up people. Yeah, the, 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 the Hebrew Israelites, they can't have no fun. Them niggas can't. Oh, we can't have fun. See, a nigga wants to, uh, a nigga wants to just be out in the world, just being lawless and doing what he, what he, what he wants to do. Have fun. And he mentioned Farrakhan. We don't have anything to do with fucking Farrakhan, man. See, only a person with, with no understanding tries to uh, connect us with being a Muslim. Okay? You don't have any understanding, man. But we're going to get some scriptures in a minute, brothers. Nothing. They can't fuck nothing. Them niggas can't eat nothing. Everything. Them niggas got to walk. Oh, see, he mentioned the uh, about eating. We can't eat nothing. Because cause this nigga right here, he wants to eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. And catfish. He don't want to follow the dietary laws of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. That's why niggas ain't got no room in this in, in this ministry, man. The Lord ain't looking for for niggas. Tight rope. The Hebrew Israelites, nigga. We gotta walk a tight rope. You damn right we gotta walk a tight rope. Cause we following righteousness, man. We going through that straight gate, man. And look at this guy, man. Take a good look at this nigga. Through, man. Them niggas is like having a daddy in the military. You can't go outside. No, God said you can't do that. You can't watch TV. Everything is condemnation with the Hebrew Israel. Like everything. Nigga can't have no motherfucking fun. The woman can't do nothing. Uh, all she got to do is just get fucked on. And most of them Hebrew Israelites niggas, they was the niggas who couldn't get all the bitches in schools. And if you notice, the people, uh, certain people on the comment board, are actually with this guy but you got a few people that's not you know this one guy says stay away from the hebrew israelites because because that's not facts they get one bitch and be mean to the bitch yeah 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 yeah, yeah they get one bitch and be mean and uh with that religion bible shit enforcing that shit them niggas ain't never been able to run the game so they get that hebrew uh religion so you so you brothers pretty much see <laughs> the spirit that this guy is in all right, you see the spirit that he's in. He's talking a lot of shit. All right, and he's eventually he's gonna be destroyed, man. He's he's scoffing at the ways of the Lord. This is the book of Joshua, chapter one, verse eight. It says, "This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous." And then thou shalt have good success. So the scriptures tell us to not depart from the law. This guy was completely scoffing at the laws of the Most High and at the ways of the Lord. And that's the example of a, this is the example of a demon. That's why the brother uh, said just another weak demon ready to be melted. You know, and that's, and that's true. That's true, man. Another weak demon ready to be melted because he don't want to follow the ways of the Lord. And there's many guys like that. Like I said, there was a video earlier this week or earlier last week about an old guy saying how he going to be stuck in his wicked ass ways and he going to do what he want to do. A lot of these Jakes, man, they're not going to change, man. They, 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 they love their wickedness. That's why the scriptures say men love darkness rather than light, man. All right, let's read that again. Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Meaning what? You're supposed to constantly be meditating on the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Always. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all. Slaki, that thou mayest observe, observe to do according to. To all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Which that'll keep you from being like this nigga right here, man. Okay. Uh, Salaki, we gotta go back, and we gotta get the apocrypha for my next precept. And this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, or Sirach. Chapter 39 and verse 1. 
it says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and shall and be occupied in prophecy. OK, and that's what a righteous man of the Lord is going to do, not a nigga. OK, a righteous man is going to give his mind to the law of the Most High because that's where the righteousness is, man, and have faith. OK, and continue to be diligent in this thing. That's the ultimate goal, man. That's the ultimate goal. All right. Not to be a niggard, man. Isaiah. Eight and 20. And it reads. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them. And this guy is a prime example of having no light. Just look at this nigga, man. He ain't got the light. He got demons on him, man. And that's why the Lord said that in uh, Psalm, I mean, uh, Proverbs, the first chapter. You know, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So I just wanted to show you, brothers, that I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.